Hey everybody, welcome. My name is Caleb. In this episode, we're going to talk about deploying a statically generated website. So for my use case, I am using a static site generator for markdown documentation. We did a video about it last week or so talking about how to do that. And this generates a bunch of static files. So we're going to deploy these to Amazon Web Services S3 and talk about how to turn that into a web page. We're also going to do some automation so that whenever you make a change and you push it to the main branch, it automatically triggers a new deployment so you don't have to regularly be manually uploading files to the internet. This is going to be a whole lot easier. So to make sure everybody's on the same page, a static site generator, it uses a web server and is very dynamic, but it gives you the option to build your site and the end result is a bunch of static files, files that don't change, just HTML files. These are very fast and fairly easy to host on the internet. So we kind of get the best of both worlds, a tool that allows us to build really cool dynamic websites with the end result being static. So here is a very quick preview of the site. It's just some documentation and I'm just showing some examples of different things you can do with Markdown. This is all local, so we're going to get this up on the internet. By the way, for those interested, this was created with Docusaurus and I did a tutorial on it. So we're gonna be using AWS. So go to aws.amazon.com, create an account if you don't have one or sign into your account. So we will go into S3, go ahead and create a bucket. Now this bucket name must be unique across all of AWS. So we'll just say sample docs and we are going to uncheck block all public access. You can go through and learn all the details about security and what you should and shouldn't do with AWS. However, for my use case, I'm gonna leave these public. Go ahead and create the bucket. And of course that is taken. So let's see, what else can we come up with? Sample Docusaurus. We'll try that. All right, cool. So we have a bucket for our files and let's see what we would put inside of here. You can go to upload. And from our project, we can run npm run build and whatever static site generator you are using is going to generate slightly different files. This is going to create a build directory and inside of here, we're just going to have a bunch of static files. You can see everything is just .html. So this is done. You can run npm run serve in this case to test it locally, make sure everything is working. So I'll run that real quick. And it's gonna be at localhost 3001. So you can see this is what it's going to look like when we deploy it, everything looks good. Let's go ahead and jump back to AWS. We will have this build directory open and I'm just going to drag the different folders that we want into AWS. Looks good. And I think we can do the files as well. Probably could have just done that all at once like this, but oh well. All right, so we'll go in here and scroll down, upload. All right, those are all uploaded. So how do we actually see our site? Well, let's go back to our bucket. And from here we can go to properties, scroll all the way down, static website hosting. We're gonna edit and hit enable. Now, what is the homepage going to be? It's going to be index.html. Scroll down, save changes. Now we should be able to find a web address. You scroll down to the bottom. Here is our website. Uh-oh, 403 forbidden, what's going on? We can go back to S3 and from the permissions, scroll down, you'll see this bucket policy. Go ahead and hit edit. So for this policy, we're going to grab this from the AWS documentation. So we're going to need an asterisk for the principal, S3 colon get object for the action, and then the resource being the bucket name. So you can copy and paste this, or you can just go in and change this real quick. So for the principal, we'll do quote asterisk. For the action inside of quotes, we'll say S3 colon get object. And then for that resource inside of quotes, we'll take this bucket, copy that, paste it here. Scroll down, save changes. I think the only thing we need to add is a forward slash asterisk for everything inside of that bucket. 
All right, let's try that. Save changes and it looks good. So this is the basic bucket policy to match the documentation here. At this point, we should be able to go back to the website, do a quick refresh and get our web page. So now what I want to do is I want to talk about continuous deployment. So let's go ahead and search for code pipeline and go ahead and create a new pipeline. And for this, we can say sample docusaurus or whatever website you want to call it. Next source provider. I'm going to get our code from GitHub. So you can connect to your GitHub account and then select a connection. So we'll grab this one here. So we're going to get this from the sample docs repo and I'm going to go from the main branch start the pipeline on source code change. If turned off, your pipeline only runs if you start it manually or on a schedule. Next, build provider, code build. We'll go ahead and create that project. This is just going to allow us to automatically update that web page. So we need to build those static files. So we'll call it sample docusaurus. For the operating system, we're going to go with Ubuntu. For the run times, uh, standard, 5. And then for the build spec, we can insert build commands and switch to editor. And we can create a very simple build script here. So I'm going to paste this from what I built ahead of time. Uh, I'm not super familiar with this, but pretty much this is going to install the dependencies and build the static files. The base directory is the equivalent of CD, so we're gonna change into the build directory and grab everything. And that is in the artifacts section, which is like the output of this process. So that looks good to me. We'll go ahead and continue to code pipeline. So we got that project created, it shows up here. And then we'll hit next, deploy provider, S3. Which bucket? The one we just created, which is sample docusaurus. Ignore the S3 object key. We're going to instead select extract files before deploy, which will unzip the files. Hit next. So this is the overview of our deployment process. Took me a while to hack this together because I'm not really like a DevOps master, but this will do. So that's done. It's grabbing the source code right now. All right, that's done. It's moved on to the build stage, which will generate all of those static files. Now for this, you can go into the details because this one can take a while. You can see all of the logs here. You can see it roll through, or you can just view everything uh, once you're ready. You can view the entire log here, which I don't think is as pretty, but this is going to install everything that is needed each time. So running command yarn, there are ways to cache this so it doesn't have to reinstall all of the dependencies. You can research that if you're interested. Now the actual commands to run are going to vary depending on what kind of static site generator you're using, what tools you're using. Docusaurus has the instructions here so you're going to issue yarn, then yarn build to build those files. So that's where I got those from. All right, so it's rolling through, going through all these different commands. Upload artifacts, succeeded. So let's go back to our pipeline here. And you can see that the deploy was successful. We'll revisit our static site and see this here. So what we should be able to do in theory is make a change and have this change automatically propagate to this S3 bucket. So right now we just have one document here. However, on my local one that I haven't pushed to GitHub yet, I have a few more different documents here. So I'm going to push those changes from my local here. We'll say git add, git commit, new pages, and then git push origin main. Going back to AWS, it should go through this process again so succeeded just now. This one is now in progress, it just now. So you can check those details or you can wait a minute. 
and you can see the deploy it was successful but you have to look in series here this was successful from two minutes ago so it doesn't have the latest changes so i have to wait for this build to process and then those changes will be deployed all right i stepped away for a minute came back it looks like it just finished so we should be able to go to our site do a quick refresh and see that it added those sections fantastic so quick summary we got the static files we put them to s3 but not only did we do that we went through the process of automatically doing that from a push to a github repo so the push happens aws notices that it issues the build command to create the new static files takes the static files and puts them on s3 which is publicly accessible through this url it's not the prettiest url you can see it's this right here but you can get a different url if you wish through route 53 which is an aws service so if you want to learn more about that you can go to route 53 so this is where you can get a custom domain name for your statically hosted website that's your summary hopefully it was helpful uh, there's probably a lot more to this like i mentioned you can do some additional review on security you probably want to review costs as not everything on aws is free and you'll probably want to review caching for the different build processes so you're not taken forever to do these builds and then domain names so there's a lot more you can do but this will get you started in the right direction thank you for watching if you have any comments or suggestions for future videos leave them in the comment section below if you want some more back-end tips i am working on a back-end course so i'll leave the notes for early access for that course in the pinned comment down below as well where you can follow along as i build through those notes for the course release so hopefully that's something that's exciting for you and it's your chance to give some suggestions for the upcoming content. Thank you. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.